okay with this video I'm going to create the rest of his um, bone I press all W then I'll go to the side view all W and expand it get my bone tool then click the create bone I'm going to start when you're creating bone uh, don't uh, click on the uh, top of the existing bone and then uh, what it does it is um, it's a uh, it will start from there but I don't want to uh, link that bone to this one at, uh, right now therefore just click um, top um, not not on that bo uh, bone uh, just uh, little bit above from that bone uh, the left up leg bone this the <laughs> this gonna be hip bone then the spine don't worry you can edit this one later on therefore this gonna be neck this come over here then head Okay, this gonna be uh, once you uh, finish uh, when you finish up the bone, right click. Okay, then it stop creating the bone. Then uh, uh, exit the bone also by uh, to click uh, the create bone uh, tab button again. All W and go to my perspective view. What I do. I'm going to hide the uh, mesh okay. and I'm going to rename the, uh, the bone this is going to be go to the modify panel this is going to be hip h-i-p-s hips then this one spine p-i-n-e the next one spine one then spine two you can add as much as spine um, bone um, you wish um, if you have like a if you create a, like a long uh, with a long spinal cord, you can add uh, or any number of spine spine bones. So uh, then, once you've done it, you can name it spine one, two, three, four, five, like that. Then this is going to be neck. Then this should be head. Or this one head end and then I'm going to my layer layer manager which is this one I'm going to unhide here we go okay, also I'm going to color this uh, bone hierarchy I'm going to give the neutral color for this one may be green apply gradient now it's been colored create an edge can see this in here now what I got to do I um I got to create the bone for his arm okay um, to create the bone for arm I'm going to front view then I go to my bone tool let me zoom this one up okay the uh, another important thing actually I should have let you guys know when you ex export this model from the um, what the C brush 
your model should face if you go to the front view your model should face to um, this direction uh, positive y direction see if you if you go to the you can see the y axis your model see this one your model should be along this side okay this is the positive y actually this is the negative it should be facing the negative um, negative y you can check it up if you go to the front view it should be in the front view it shouldn't be facing the back backward it should be facing the front otherwise you're going to have a problem see in the front view it should be facing um, facing forward if it is fa uh, facing backward uh, what you got to do turn the model around and um, make it uh, facing forward it's very important otherwise uh, when you're going to retarget the motion capture data in the in motion builder builder you're going to have problem that's something important then control w one freeze this one alt x to go to the x-ray mode and i'm going to freeze by clicking this one then i'll go to the bone tool create bone i'm going to start creating the shoulder shoulder then forearm hand Okay, I'm not. I'm not going to create the uh, bone f uh, like a single uh, separate bone bone hierarchy for fingers. But I'm going to create one single hierarchy um, for the finger because uh, we're not going to animate the fingers. Therefore, I want to keep everything simple. Exit the uh, create bone. Then what I'll do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna my perspective view. I'm gonna put the created bone inside the creature body. Create the very first bone that I create for this hierarchy, and drag it up. See now it is inside. Then click this one. You can rotate this one. When you're rotating, make sure you go to the see, um, oh, go to the local. Then your axis will turn. Let's make it easy. Then what I'll do, I'll reduce the size of the bone. Click this one, modify panel. Let me zoom it up, then you guys can see. This okay, then and bone oh, I missed the one <laughs> you can put um, this hierarchy inside the inside the, the finger but it's not that important uh, since we create the one finger uh, one hierarchy for all three fingers therefore you can leave it like this okay if you're creating the separate um, bones 
a hierarchy for the fingers so then what you could do you could uh, create the uh, you could you could put them inside the mesh okay therefore for this instance uh, that's not important what I'll do I'll rename the bone left shoulder left arm next one be left forearm then next one is left hand this one left hand and middle one left hand middle one okay then I'm gonna copy this one I'm gonna paste into next one the mid but I'm gonna change the number middle one to middle two this one middle three here we go just getting the ball okay now the what I sh should do I'm going to color this one keep it consistent uh, I'm going to left side I'm going to do it in blue apply gradient here we go then I'm going to mirror this hierarchy to other side just press the mirror button and press OK I'll do it again this is look like a little bit off it's good enough the last thing uh, left for me to do is link this bone together right have a look at this one what would happen if I move this uh, bone hip bone it will move separately what I want is uh, when I move the hip bone it should move all this bone together I won't link them up okay let me to color this one uh, quickly gradient okay what what you should do click this one click the left up uh, two left up leg bones then go to the see this one select link click the uh, that button and hold down the old uh, control key and drag it from there to hip okay then if you check it up now that bone is being linked once the, uh, once the link is being done what you should do select uh, get out of that um, tool uh, okay I'll do the same thing to link uh, these two arm to spine what I'll do hold down the control and select the shoulder and select the next one then click select link hold down the control key and link it up to the closest bone um, in my case uh, spine 2 then make sure you um, select something else otherwise uh, whatever uh, if you still on the uh, select link mode whatever you select in it's going to select uh, link 